Hey guys, if you like what you see, stay tuned to see how I install this beautiful hair. So this is my final braid pattern. I like to do this if my client wants to switch up their parts. So this is the hair that I'm using. On the right is the Presto and on the left is the Go-Go. The difference is, is the Go-Go is a tighter curl and the Presto is more looser. But my client got them both in the same color and they both look similar. It's just one's tighter and one's looser. So the process for installing this hair is I'm mixing both of the different curls together. I'm just putting them in one by one separate um, with both bundles next to each other. I like this hair. It is so soft and so bouncy and I'm looking forward to see how it's going to come out. My client, she's never had crochet so this is her first time so stay tuned to see how this is going to look. Okay, so when you're installing this hair, you don't want to put the knots too close to each other because you don't want the hair to be really, really full. It's going to be full no matter what you do, but a lot of people, they just like fill the braid up really like a lot. So I'm not doing that. I'm spacing it out a nice spacing so the hair isn't too big because you guys are going to see how big this hair can get. So now on my Y braids, these are the braids that are going to be for the hard parting spaces. I'm just going to start doing the invisible method so you don't see a knot and it gives it more of a natural look. Okay. 
Okay, so now that the hair is all installed, look how big this hair is, you guys. It is huge. So when it's this big, before I start to cut and shape, I love to use this product. I recommend it to all my clients with crochet. It's On Natural Curl and Wavy Curl Defining con Conditioner. And this softens the hair. This helps your curl stay longer. It is so good when you use crochet because it just helps you get all the knots out and really softens and defines your curl. So this is, I'm just going to show you how I start to cut her hair. So the key goal in cutting crochet hair is you want to glide your shears down on the hair. You do not want to go in and straight chop it because you don't want it to look like it's been purposely cut. All my clients like a taper look and a natural lay so I just like to slide cut it and thin it out and that's how I end up shaping the hair all around. So I'm just going to repeat the process giving it its natural layers sliding it down right there. Um, she doesn't want short layers so I'm just going to mostly slide cut this whole thing and just help it um help it get its natural lay you do not want to go in and like i said just chop it straight across down because it's not gonna look right Okay, y'all, please don't judge me. I'm looking super greasy and just sweated out, you know, working all day. Um, she was my last client, so I'm about ready to go home after her. That's why I'm looking crazy. But, yeah, so I'm just going to, for her um, side, her heavier side, which is parted over, I'm just going to give it facial um, layers and just shape it to her face because she doesn't want it puffy so just watch how I do it I missed how I really um got the end results after this cut because my phone died but I charged it just to show you guys pictures so I hope you like this please subscribe like comment I love you guys thank you for everything for subscribing and stay tuned Thank you.